I'm the Senior Technical Fellow uh, within the Chemical, Biological and Radiological Division at DSTL. And essentially what that means is I'm responsible for the science that we do within our research programmes uh, uh, in this organisation. Here at DSTL we are doing vital work in partnership with a number of organisations to help get this outbreak under control and to ensure that we as a nation rid this country of, of this disease. We're really proud of our volunteers, our scientists who have volunteered uh, to go out and, and support uh, Public Health England and, and our health services in fighting this disease and really we're supporting in two key areas. We're using our skills and our experts uh, to help uh, perform diagnostic tests within NHS uh, hospitals currently and they're really important um, in fighting the disease. Well it, the, the outbreak is clearly still developing and DSTL uh, can perform a number of roles depending upon what direction uh, that outbreak takes. Well there are, there are two types of tests that might be used in this uh, scenario. There are the current tests which primarily rely on probes and they look for uh, virus within human fluids. Um, and there's also a test that works a little bit like a pregnancy test that's based um, on an antibody. We are currently looking at both of those technologies and how we might uh, use them together or improve them and we're really trying to drive some innovation with our industrial partners into that area of the government's response in order to increase the number of tests that we can perform per day. And we've gone out for a second round of volunteers and we've had uh, really encouragingly about 70 people volunteer uh, to go out and continue to support those diagnostic activities and our research programme that we're performing here that looks at things like the stability of virus on surfaces. Well our capabilities uh, can be converted or configured in a number of ways and that's about using our infrastructure sensibly and we have a lot of infrastructure here at DSTL that we can use in the COVID-19 response from handling high containment pathogens uh, to developing assays and kits. And then we have a cadre of staff and that staff expertise can be really employed in a number of flexible ways depending upon what the, the current challenge is and where the United Kingdom government wants us to put our, our efforts at any particular time. And my personal advice is to follow the government's advice, being mindful that that advice develops as the situation develops. So it's really important to keep yourself appraised of that advice. But things people can do are to wash their hands more frequently, to observe the social distancing uh, guidelines, to make sure if they're in those at-risk categories that they self-isolate and keep themselves um, safe. And above all, remember that we will conquer this disease um, and life will get back to normal. So please look after your physical and mental health um, and just remember that, that our scientists are working towards moving us out of this situation as quickly as they possibly can do and we all want uh, this disease beaten and it to be beaten fast.